welcome back to my channel yes happy Easter to you out there if today is your first time stopping by you're mostly welcome and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell this will enable you to get notified anytime I upload any of my videos and also to my old subscribers you're welcome back to my channel yes in today's video it's all about cooking you heard me cooking let's cook i'm going to show you how i prepare my stew yes chicken stew not beef chicken stew so if you're interested in watching how i prepare my stew you know what to do definitely keep on watching yes you're welcome back my beautiful people now i have my apron on let's start doing something serious here so now I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to prepare this stew. I call this stew Easter stew. <laughs> you heard me. So let me show you the ingredients that I'll be using today to make this delicious stew. Yes, I have not tasted the stew. I have not cooked the stew, but yet it is delicious. So come along with me and I will show you what I have. So guys, here I have my uh, ingredients that I'll be using today to prepare this stew. So here I have uh, two big onions. I'll be using one to boil my chicken and also I'll be blending one of them. And also I have two cubes. I have my granite pepper. You can use a banero pepper if you like. It's left for you. So here I have my magic seasoning. It has everything inside, but I still went ahead and uh, try and use uh, curry and also my nutmeg and my paprika and also salt to taste. I love this salt so much. And here is my granite oil and also four things of tomato. And also I have here two whole chicken. Hobby helped in cutting them. So guys, these are what I'm going to be using today to prepare this stew. Yes, I guess something is missing here. Let me think. Yes, now I remember. I forgot to include my tomato paste. It's made from Italy. I love using this tomato paste so, so much. It keeps my stew red color so let's get started so here i have my chicken inside my paws and i have my sliced onions inside and i had a little bit of granite pepper so right away i'm going to add my nutmeg inside that little not much and also i'll be adding my curry yes everybody needs to add curry into stew if not you will not get the scent inside <laughs> so guys that is that so i'm going to cover this i've added my uh maggi already so i'm going to cover that and cook for some minutes i love using this pressure pot to cook my chicken so i'm going to let that cook for some minutes so right away i have my uh, pot so i blended my tomato so i'm going to pour in my blended tomato inside my pot because i like boiling my tomato to dry off some uh, water that i have inside so i'm going to cover that so later i came back checking on it to see how well cooked it is so i guess it's perfect now so guys i cooked on a low heat when preparing uh my tomato i always cook on a low heat so here my chicken is done did you see the stock so right away i'm going to uh see uh this chicken stock because we've been making use of that and we don't want to throw that away right so i'm gonna wait for a while and now I have my chicken stock, but guys, I don't want to use it like that. So what I did was I sieve my chicken stock. You don't want those particles like crumbs of chicken inside and all those onions, something inside. We really don't need it. So what I did was I sieve them. I always, always sieve 
my chicken stock when it comes to me cooking my stew. So this is what I uh, got from the chicken stock. It's not okay in the plate. That is, it's not the plate is not enough to contain it. So I went ahead and used. So here are the stock that I got from the chicken. So I want to throw this away because I really don't need them. So I set that aside. I try to check on my chicken if the oil is very hot before I dip it inside. So right away I'm going to wait for that to fry. And also I have my pot here. I'm going to pour some granite oil inside. The pot is hot enough anyway. So I'm pouring it inside. Then I will let that just heat for some time. So now I'm checking on my chicken. It's well fried. It's brown in color. I like it this way. So now I'm pouring my onions into my granite oil. And I'll let that to fry for some seconds before I pour the next thing. So just watch. So now I'm pouring my tomato puree inside. This is the way I prepare my stew. I just, you know, stir, give it a stir. And I'm cooking on a low heat, guys. Low heat. Because if you don't cook on a low heat, it will get burnt. And we don't need that. So now I'm checking on my grounded tomato. And also onions that I blended it with. And I'm checking how it is. Now it's okay. So I'm going to scoop and put it right inside my fried onions and puree. Oh, this is the way I prepare it. And guys, when you are cooking your tomato, make sure your pot doesn't get burnt. Cook the tomato in a low heat. You can see the pot is not burnt. It's not burnt. The, the tomato is not burnt at all. It's just like that. So you have to cook on a low heat. So that's... I'm going to pour in my stock, my chicken stock, right inside. And I'm going to pour that right into my stew just like so yes guys and i'm going to give it a stir and i'm cooking on a low heat because if you don't cook on a low heat your stew will get burnt and it will be smelling burnt so right away i'm going to uh, pour in my granite pepper you can use a banana pepper if you want it depends on your choice but i love using this uh long they call it a uh, chumbo the Yorubas call it shombo, you know, it's this pepperish uh, pepper like that. It's the grounded one I used. So that's why I'm making use of it. So here I have my chicken, everything is ready. And now I'm ready to like pour in my chicken into my stew. So my chicken will be swimming in my stew. So right away, I am going to scoop just this little spoon full of this magic stuff seasoning yeah just a little like so so right away i'm going to pour it into my stew did you see the, the bubbles wow so right now i'm just pouring it the the grounded uh, it has everything inside it has a uh, kind of you know spices it's just a kind of combination of spices inside that's why I really love using that magic seasoning. Okay, guys, I'm going to um, pour in my chicken. So I'm going to like take it little by little and dropping them inside. If you pour at stew and you don't want that to happen. So all you need to do is just you can take them four, four or there about three, three and start dipping them inside slowly and slowly. Just like so. So I'm really cooking on a low heat because I really don't want my stew to get burnt. When you cook on a high heat, I keep saying it, your stew will get burnt. And the next thing, your stew will be smelling burnt stew. And we don't really need that. So right away, I'm trying to like dip them inside 
for them to go down, 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 and for the stew to cover them up. So that's what I am doing right here. So right now I'm going to cover and wait for a while. So right away I came back and checked on it and I realized I will be having a little bit of uh, salt to taste. So that's what I did. Mm. I love the face of the stew. Wow. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> So guys, here you can see me, I have two eggs, <laughs> I boiled it. I really love putting eggs into my stew. If you leave your eggs, maybe you have about three, four of them, leaving them into, into your stew for some days, you will realize that the egg will soak, you know? It will be soaked with the stew. And when you're eating it, you will really enjoy it. I know. Nigerian people will understand what I'm trying to say. You really can't escape this. You really need to put egg into it if you really want to enjoy this stew. So that is what I did. So I'm going to cover for some time. Okay, now I'm checking on my stew. And I'm going to add um, a little bit of curry. Remember we added curry in the chicken. But it wasn't enough. So I'm going to add a little bit into it. And also I'll be adding... A little bit of uh, paprika yes I'll be adding that paprika because I did not use the fresh one to blend with my tomato that's why I'm using the powdered one it's what you want to add you can add it to it fresh on the dry or anyone you want so now I'm checking on my stew my stew is done yes we are done here did you see that Look at the eggs. Just look at those wings. Just look at the chicken. Look at the. So, guys, we are done right here. Let's dish our stew. I hope you like this video or you haven't. <laughs> so, guys, here is the stew. I dished it and you can see how red it is. Yes. If you use tomato puree, you will get what you want and also paprika. You will get the redness of the stew. So I'll be showing you the next thing. I use this pressure pot to boil my rice. I love using pressure pot to boil my rice. It gives a kind of taste. Yeah, a kind of taste that I really love. So I'm going to dish now and show you the final look. Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see that? Have you liked this video yet or you're still thinking to subscribe to my channel? Don't wait, okay? Just subscribe. So here is the excess of the oil I have in my stew. I removed this one and I'm going to set aside. If I want to prepare any soup, I can still use it and prepare it because it looks like palm oil. So that's what I did. Hi guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you like the video. And if you do, why not give this video a huge thumbs up and enjoy the beauty of Easter. Yes, guys. Today is Easter. I want you guys to enjoy your Easter very, very well. Okay, keep safe and keep the distance. Bye.